Hello everyone. I am going to solve one problem from UT question paper. Now, that is from July August 2022 question paper. Question number is six B for ten marks. The following observations were made during a test on a two-stroke cycle oil engine. It's a two-stroke cycle oil engine. Bore 200 mm. Stroke 250 mm. Speed 350 rpm, brake drum diameter 1200 mm, net brake load 450 newton, mean effective pressure 2.8 bar, oil consumption 3.6 kg per hour, calorific value of oil 41868 kJ per kg, determine indicated power IP, brake power BP, mechanical efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency. And brake thermal efficiency. First, we will take what are the given data are there. Given data is here. We have to consider a single cylinder. N is equal to one. Okay, that we have to take in the calculation of IP. And bore is given. Bore diameter. Okay, that is cylinder diameter. D is equal to 200 mm. That can be written as 0.2 meter. Stroke length is given as a stroke L is equal to 250 mm, that is equal to 0.25 meter. Speed is equal to n is equal to 350 rpm. Brake drum diameter that is given D is equal to 1200 mm, that is 1.2 meter. That can be written in terms of the radius, that is R is equal to 0.6 meter. Here the brake drum. Dynamometer is used for measuring the power, and for that the brake drum, whatever is there, its diameter is given, and net brake load on that brake drum dynamometer, that the net brake load will be the W is equal to 450 newton. Mean effective pressure PM is given 2.8 into uh, 2.8 bar, that can be written as 2.8 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square. Oil consumption that can be given as the mass consumption of fuel in mf that is equal to 3.6 kg per hour and that is equal to 3.6 by 3600 kg per second in terms of kg per second express to express that one we have taken here 3.3600 uh, we have divided calorific value cv is equal to 41868 Kilo joule per kg, or we can write 4186 into 10 raised to 3 joule per kg. By using these data, what to find in this one? Okay, here indicated power IP we have to find, brake power BP, eta mech mechanical efficiency, eta ITH indicated thermal efficiency, eta BTH brake thermal efficiency. First, we will take that is indicated power. Indicated power IP can be given as PM ln LAN into N by 60 into 1000. What are the terms here? The PM is in the uh, mean effective pressure. L is the stroke length. A is the cross-sectional area of the cylinder that can be given as pi d square by 4. That we will calculate. And N is the speed of the engine. N is Number of cylinders. Second letter N will be number of cylinders. And here the 60 we have divided. Okay, the speed is in terms of RPM. If we divide with 60, we are going to get in terms of the RPS. And this thousand we have divided in order to have the power in terms of the kilowatt. Now to have the power in terms of the kilowatt, thousand is divided. Okay, this equation for the two-stroke engine. Already the engine given is the two-stroke. And first, we'll take that is where E is equal to pi d square by four, where D is the bore diameter or a cylinder diameter, pi d square by four pi, and this is bore diameter will be the point two point two meter square, and by four, and that will give the point zero three one four two meter square. And indicated power IP is equal to two point eight into ten raised to five pm point two five. L 0.03142 A 350 N and one is a second letter N divided by 60 into 1000. This we get that one IP is equal to 12.82 to 
kilowatt. Indicated power IP is equal to 12.82 kilowatt. The next brake power BP is equal to 2 pi NT by 16 to 1000. 2 pi is a constant, N is speed of the engine, T is the torque, torque on the brake drum. Okay, this can be this torque can be obtained as where T is equal to W into R. W is a load on a brake drum, R is a brake drum diameter. Load on brake already it is given 450 Newton and this is brake drum diameter will be 0.6. Okay, then the radius we are going to take that is a 0.6, then that is calculated as 250 270 Newton meter. 270 Newton meter. Then BP is equal to 2.350 into 270, that is a T, divided by 16 to 1000. This we are going to have as a BP is equal to 9.896 kilowatt. Okay, the similarly, how we have calculated that is IP, the BP we have calculated in terms of the kilowatt. The next, we will find out that is a mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency, eta mech can be given as BP into 100 by IP. Okay, the brake power by indicated power. This 100 is multiplied not have the efficiency in terms of the percentage. Therefore, eta mech is equal to 9.896 into 100 by 12.8. Both brake power and indicated power are in terms of the kilowatt in the same unit. Therefore, the units will be get cancelled. Therefore, eta mech what we calculate that is 77.3 percentage. Indicated thermal efficiency eta ith can be given as IP by CV into MF now to express in terms of the percentage 100 is multiplied where CV is the calorific value MF is the mass flow rate of the fuel okay or oil consumed we can say therefore eta ith is equal to 12.8 into 100 by 41868 this is in terms of the kilojoule only taken because the IP is in terms of the kilowatt and this CV is also in terms of the kilojoule. Those will be get cancels. Then MF is equal to 3.6 by 3600 kg per second it will be. Mass flow rate of the fuel or oil consumed in terms of the kg per second. Therefore, eta ith what we calculate that will be 30.57 percentage. The next one, brake thermal efficiency. Brake therp thermal efficiency eta B th can be given as BP into 100 by CV into MF. BP is a brake power, 100 in order to express in terms of the percentage. Efficiency, CV is calorific value, oil consumed or mass of the fuel consumed. Then eta B th is equal to 9.896 into 100, 41866. 8 kilojoule per kg this one calorific value and 3.6 by 3600 kg per second of the mass flow rate. Both these two express in terms of the same unit kilojoule and kilowatt that we should uh, need to know that one. Okay after this one we can calculate that is a eta BTH or brake thermal efficiency is equal to 23.64. Okay this is about the solving problem. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel as a Dr. K. M. Kodi. Thank you once again.